Hey guys, so in this lecture, we'll understand what is I notify property chain interface in WPF. Now, as you have learned all the basic concepts of WPF till now, so we will be moving into some advanced concepts such as MVVM pattern in WPF. The reason you need to have a good understanding of MVVM pattern is that if you are working in a WPF project, you need to know what is a MVVM pattern in WPF. So for that, you, for that, you need to have a good understanding of what is I notify property chain interface in WPF. So I could have explained you MVVM first and then uh, uh, got into this topic, but uh, I thought that you should first understand what is I notify property chain interface in WPF. So in this lecture, we'll, we will make a simple application using I notify property chain interface, or we will see the use of what is I notify property chain interface. So let's quickly jump into our slides. So if an object implements I notify property chain interface, it will raise a property changed event when its property changes. So say suppose you have a class and you have a property inside that class. Now whenever you will change that property, it will raise a property changed event to update the UI. So if you don't get this point, don't worry, I will be showing this thing in demo. So this interface is present in system.component model namespace. Usually this interface is used to notify the UI that our property has changed and you need to update yourself. So this was uh, the point what I was trying to explain you. And this practice is widely used when you are developing develop, uh, WPF applications using MVVM pattern. So this is one of the prerequisite of implementing MVVM pattern in WPF that you should implement I notify property chain interface. So let's quickly jump into our demo and understand this construct. So here I have a simple class called as person class which I have added in this solution and then I have a main window here. So I have a simple window which has a canvas control in it and it has three labels and three text boxes. Okay and in the code behind of this application there is nothing written in here. Okay so let's try to run this application. You can see my, my window here. So it has a first name, last name and full name. So my requirement is that whenever I type a first name in here, last name in here, so my full name should be updated automatically. Okay. This is my requirement. So there are many ways to do this. Uh, one way is to implement just simple data binding in it, but we will do it uh, with the help of I notify property chain interface and we will see that if you don't have I notify property chain interface so what will happen so let's close this and paste three properties inside this person class so let me have this so you can see I have first name last name and full name as uh, variables and then I have three properties corresponding to those variables so first name last name and full name okay so what this full name does it returns full name is equal equals first name plus last name okay so this is my property in here so to implement i notify property chain interface let me have first you need to have this comp system dot component model namespace in, uh, imported in here so have i notify property chain interface okay and then you need to implement this interface so you can say implement interface so you will get an event called as property changed event right so this interface just has this property change event which is raised whenever this property is changed okay so let me write this event onto the last because this will then not create the confusion amongst you so here's the event and then we will we will like to have to raise this event whenever this property changed um, uh, is changed now remember how to raise the event you need to write a method which corresponds to this events right so let me write a method in here private on property changed and it's it takes a string parameter property name now just let's call it property so it takes a property inside this method this method takes a property inside it okay and then let's write the logic so I will write if property changed is not equals null 
then raise this event so i will have this thing so what what it accepts it expects a object so i will pass this so this will represent the current object whatever object is present in this class right and then i will ask it to raise property chain event args so this is a special class which is present inside this component model namespace so this is the event that is responsible this is the class that is responsible for raising the event sorry so it will take just the property inside it then i will close this bracket here so why am i getting a error okay so <coughs> i am not specified the return type of this method so this is a void return type okay so and why am i getting error here so okay so i have not used new keyword because i am i am raising a new event okay you can see this if you go to definition of this property chain event args so this is present in system dot component model and you can see this property chain event args has a property changed event args uh, property and it takes a property name inside it okay so this is this is interlinked so what i'm doing i'm just raising this uh, event args uh, event using my on property changed method so i'm i'm making a method and raising this event okay and then this since this person class is now implementing i notify property change event so let me have a on the setter of this property let me call this on property change method and pass the name of my property okay so what this will do whenever this first name property will change this will invoke this method and this will in turn raise this event and then it will notify the ui so similar thing we can do in with each and every property so yeah it goes last name and same comes for this thing full name so now to notify this full name property we need to have this thing inside this also so for each property you need to notify the full name property okay so this is done now let's now try to bind these properties to my text boxes okay let's first build this solution and the build is succeeded let me write a binding markup in here with this text box so i have a pre typed code in here so what i have done i have just wrote in the text property of this text box binding first name mode is two way similarly we can do in here so binding last name okay similar here binding full name let's save this now it remains setting the data context of this window to this object what we will have or you can say the object of person class so to access that object i will have a person property a public uh, property of person obj of person type same this is the same concept what i have explained you in the lecture of data templates and the lecture of data context okay so i am exposing a pro public property of type person okay and then in the constructor of this window i will have this thing so what i am doing here i am just initializing that uh, person obj this person obj to new person and the name of that person is bruce wayne so bruce is the first name wayne is the last name and then i am setting the data context property of this window to this object so this is the concept what i have explained in the data context lecture okay let's try to save this and run this so let's try to run this and you can see bruce is the first name wayne is the last name full name is bruce wayne let's try to change this last name now 
So let me write Bruce Wayne is Batman. And whenever I press the tab or lose the focus of this text box, you can see Bruce Wayne is Batman is been printed in full name. So what is what it's doing? My I notify property change event is doing. Whenever this property is changing, it's updating the UI internally due to data binding. That property will be updated internally through data binding. But to update the UI, you need I notify property change interface. Okay. So just remember that whenever you need to update the UI of the property changes, you need to have I notify property change interface implemented. Okay. So Bruce. So let me change the first name then Clark. You can say Clark Wayne is Batman. Or I can say Clark Kent is Superman. You can see Clark Kent is Superman. So my application is working perfectly. Let's try to see now if I delete this I notify property change interface. Let me comment out this I notify property change interface here. Okay. Now see let's uh, let's see what happens. Now I am not implementing this I notify property change interface. Okay. Rest of the code remains the same. I am just commenting out this I notify property change interface. Let's try to run this now. You can see Bruce Wayne is Batman. Let me press the tab now. You can see it has not updated itself. So this is the function of I notify property chain interface in WPF. So whenever you are building a application using MVVM pattern, you need to implement I notify property chain interface because this is the sole purpose of WPF data binding concept that you you can provide chain notification to your UI. So let me make it back to I notify property chain interface. And this is the code for you to note it down. Just uh, practice once from your side, from your side, and it will be very easier for you. Okay. And this is the code for you for XAML. So, guys, I hope you understood what is a function of I notify property chain interface. So, let me move back to our slide, and you can see all these points what I have taught you are being listed in these slides. So thank you so much guys for listening. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to my channel and keep learning. Thank you so very much.